to Life is Hard TV, the life show for the rest of us. We're, we're back in action here at Glen Road. Larry, good hey, to see you. Dave, thanks for coming over. Great to be here. So we're going to do something a little bit different today. Uh, I, I heard, Dave, I'm sorry to interrupt, but I heard there's a new fitness part of your, your show there. New fitness guy. Life check is out, Hard TV. Check out the, uh, click on the fitness category, John DiDio. He's working out down at the uh, Fitness Edge down at Fairfield. Great videos. Great stuff. Did some training with Jessica. We have more episodes. There's one up. There are two more to come, and, and great future stuff there. So I'm always thinking, Dave, you know, they say wine's good for you. But we're going to go down to one of my favorite breweries today. We'll take a little trip. And they use a lot of different fruit. They use apricots. They use blackberries, blueberries. Juniper berries, raspberries. Guess what? You can get your beer and your vegetables and fruits in at the same time. How about that for nutrition, right? So, I don't know if you noticed, but I slimmed down a little bit. It's yeah. all because of the summer beer with, the, with all the uh, fruits I've got Looking in there. good. So, okay, so uh, we will uh, dive in a little bit deeper here. We'll be right back with Larry. We're going to tour the, uh, the Dogfish Head Brewery. Dogfish Head down in Rehoboth, Delaware. Great guys. If you want a chance this summer, if you want a good, uh, a good summer getaway. So instead of going down to Wildwood or whatnot, uh, you just go to a little further, get to the tip of Jersey. There's a little uh, ferry like uh, Port Jeff right there. Put the car on. 45 minutes later, Dave, guess where you are? You're in Rehoboth. Oh, Rehoboth. You're right on the beach. Nice, nice. I heard they have a pool table. Pool table on the second floor. How about that? The bartenders are very generous with their samples. They love it. And uh, i got to tell you what, it's just a good time to go down, taste some crazy beers, and we're going we're gonna to kind of blow through this pretty quickly. But uh, we'll get you a whole assortment of great, great beers that will get you fit for the summer. Great. Right. So uh, get a babysitter, go down and see Dogfish Head, and uh, we'll be right back to take a look, closer look at what they have. All right, Dave, we're going to start with their flagship. This is the beer that put Dogfish Head on the map. And Sam, the owner who is as crazy as I am, crazier than the day is long, started with a 60-minute IPA. Awesome beer. They, uh, this is really their number one skew. This is what drives the boat. Um, and then off of that, they started to get a little crazy. So, uh, like I said, 60-minute. Then you go right to 90-minute. So what does that mean again, 60 versus 90? That's how long they're hopping it for. So the longer they hop it for, the higher the alcohol content drives up the flavor of the beer. So the concentration's higher. So Got when you go even higher, I'm no rocket scientist, but 120 minutes, this goes for about seven and change a bottle. Yeah, that's seven a bottle, not a six pack. Seven here. bucks per bottle. What's the alcohol content in that one? Uh, we're talking about 18%. Wow. So uh, wine is about 11, 12, 13, maybe 14, 15. We're going, we're going up there. So seven, eight bucks a bottle, six pack. You're, you're getting up there. Woohoo! Yep. So like I said, fitness. Let's get into shape for the summer. It's a good way to keep the calories down, still get bang for the buck. Right. Exactly. So we're gonna do. This is another IPA. That's their forte. But with, is that apricots, Dave? Yes. Apricots. So kind of a take on Magic Hat's number nine an all-time great beer. Uh, they made this, and this probably is my ultimate summer brew. You know, when I don't want to, uh, you know, cut the grass, I want to get in there, I want to feel good about myself, throw on a couple apricots. All right, from there, we're gonna go into, whoa, Dave, what's this baby? Bomber, Fort, uh, raspberries. This thing is perfect. End of the night, you had a great meal. Chef Dave, I know you, you throw down every night on the grill or something, and you want something a little lighter. So you macerate some fresh strawberries, maybe some blueberries, a little pinch of sugar, and uh, here you go. You want some more uh, vegetables and fruits for the day? Just suck down a little bit of Dogfish Fort. Great, great, great beer. With that note, we're going to go over to uh, Dave. i got to read all this off to you. This is everything that's in Theobroma. All right? Honey, cocoa nibs, ancho chilies, chilies, Dave, cocoa powder, and gran anato. Don't quite know what gran anato is, but maybe we'll look that one up on the website. But that is another one of their killer, killer uh, 
just exotic. You know what? I think exotic's the best way to describe dogfish head. These guys just do an incredible job. They're outlandish in what they make. They also distill uh, rums and vodkas. You can only really get them down at the, at the brewery. Another reason for a good tour. You want a good time, go down there, get some of their vodka, get some of their rum, try some of their beers, bring a couple growlers, and then get back on the boat and go back up to Atlantic City and knock off a weekend. Anyway, another one, saute. Juniper berries and chai tea. What's better than chai tea for you, Dave? That's beautiful. Right? Chai tea's healthy. <laughs> I can feel the I feel better just holding the bottle with the antioxidants. So That's not weak stuff either. Nope. Another one of their large beer series. Here you go, Dave. Coriander, orange peel, and Pinot Noir juice, red and white. Can you believe wow. that? So now you're getting that's, that's beer. That's for the health conscious. This is it right here, you know? Forget Atkins. Forget low carbs. Just go to a dogfish beer diet. That's the way to go. It's the only way to go, I think. Fitness people would be very happy with this uh, selection. Unbelievable. And then black raspberries and blueberries. I mean, come on, Dave. Does this get any better for dessert? And it's beer. That guy, he, he has a black eye. He does have a black eye. There's a story behind that. Uh, I, I think black, he... Well, black and blue. There you go. That's it. Fourth of July coming up. See Memori how smart we are? Oh, yeah. Memorial Day coming up. You want red and white? You want black and blue? Red, white, black, and blue? Doesn't there get any better. Go. Only in America. Nope. Again, they're no. see the back of your hat there. Turn around real oh, quick. Oh, hold on. Victory last night, baby. Here we go. Nice. Here we go. Coming around the corner. All right. Again, they're known for their IPAs. So we're going to just, just quickly talk about uh, bottle conditioned. So like wine, when you put down, you know, an, a nice 2000 Barolo or you want an 82 Bordeaux, you can lay that baby down. This was bottled in 09. That'll be good till 2019. All right. Now we're going to fly through the rest here, Dave. I'll throw them up here. Indian Brown Ale, kind of like a Newcastle. Midas Touch. Holy goodness. Saffron, barley, honey, muscat grapes. Uh, These guys are nuts. The health conscious. Yeah. They're looking out for us. Maple, vanilla, oak, beautiful ale. How about raisins, Dave? You like raisins? I love raisins. Well, here you, you go. Any? You want raisins in a bottle? It's good for you. And then, Dave, here, here's what they go nuts. Raison d'etre, raison d'extra. This is about 18%, and same thing, about 8 bucks a bottle. So what the 120 minute was, the 60 minutes, really crazy juice. This is some ale brewed with raisins. That's one heck of a bottle. Yeah, one heck of a beer. All right, we're going to go. These guys did an incredible job. They went down to Uruguay. They spent 50 grand, 50 grand on wood. You think they were smoking it, but uh, no, they, they might have smoked a little bit of it. But they are putting their brown ale, one of their deepest, darkest beers, in this Palo Santo wood. And I tell you, Dave, you drink this, you know you're drinking a beer. This is like cognac in a bottle. Little 12-ounce cognac for you. All right. Another IPA. But what did they do? They put it in oak barrels again, Dave. Mm. These guys are nuts. They must have more wood in Rehoboth, Delaware, than in the tri-state the area. The only people doing this, more or less, sir. They're at the forefront of this. More mm -hmm. people are jumping on the bandwagon now, like Guinness and Gun. There's quite a few people that are doing it. Chicory Stout for that time of year. Chicory. Again, good for you. You know? And we'll finish with the piece de resistance, 22% worldwide stout. This is more alcohol content than I think Malibu. So you really only need one of those. That's all you need. And, my, and when I tell my wife, she goes, honey, you're only having one beer? That's all I'm having, Dave. <laughs> she loves it. So yeah, awesome, barley, you know, again, health. We're For the calorie about. conscious, one calorie beer. Calorie conscious, one beer, barley, doesn't get any better. So when you get a chance, Dave, road trip down to Rehoboth, Delaware, Google Dogfish Head, go on Life is Hard TV, we'll put a link on with the Glen Rowe site, and uh, just make a nice weekend uh, trip out of it. Or if you've got a week off during the summer, go down during midweek, I gotta tell you, you got a beautiful beach, you got a brew pub, it's healthy, 
and you can have a great time. So uh, thanks for coming over today, Dave, and uh, we'll see you again soon on lifeishardtv.com. Another dream song.